I am the practical mentor who gives you practical life hacks. This time, I am going to teach you how to add and subtract dissimilar fractions using butterfly method. The butterfly method helps you solve the easier way than the long method by getting the least common denominator through least common multiples. It is called butterfly simply because you just draw an image of a butterfly. Here are the steps. Step number one, draw a wing-like structure crossing over the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second fraction. Then multiply them and write the answer over the numerator of the first fraction. Step number two, draw a wing-like structure crossing over the denominator of the first fraction and the numerator of the second fraction then multiply them and write the answer over the numerator of the second fraction step number three add the two products then write the sum as the numerator step number four Multiply the two denominators of the two fractions, then write the product as the denominator. Step number 5. If the fraction is already in the lowest term, that is already the final answer. Step number 6. If the fraction is an improper fraction, do the following. A fraction is improper if the numerator is higher than the denominator. How do we change the fraction to a mixed number? Divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient becomes the whole number, the remainder becomes the numerator, and the divisor becomes the denominator. If the fraction in the mixed number is not in its lowest term, we need to reduce them to lowest term. How? Think of a number that we can divide to both the numerator and the denominator, that is without a remainder. Example, 6 tenths. Are 6 and 10 divisible by 2? Yes, both of them are divisible by 2. Are 6 and 10 divisible by 3? 6 is yes, but not 10. Are 6 and 10 divisible by 4? Both of them are not. Are they divisible by 5? 6 is not, but 10 is divisible by 5. We can conclude, therefore, that both the numerator and the denominator should be divisible to that number. That is, when you divide that number, they both should have no remainder. If we divide 6 by 2, the answer is 3. If we divide 10 by 2, we get 5. Thus, the lowest term for the 6 tenths is 3 fifths. Let's do this. 2 fifths plus 3 fourths. And circle 2 crossing over 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. And circle 5 crossing over 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then add 8 and 15 as your numerator, it becomes 23. Multiply the two denominators 5 and 4 to get 20 as your denominator. The answer is 23 over 20. Since it is an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. How? Follow the step number 6. 23 divided by 20. The quotient is 1 that becomes the whole number. The remainder is 3 that becomes your numerator, and the divisor 20 becomes the denominator. The answer is 1 and 3 over 20. Another example. And circle 1 crossing over 5. 1 times 5 equals 5. And circle 2 crossing over 3. 
2 times 3 equals 6. Then add 5 and 6 as your numerator, it becomes 11. Multiply the two denominators 2 and 5 to get 10 as your denominator. The answer is 11 over 10. Since it is an improper fraction, change it into a mixed number. How? Follow the step number 6 again. The answer is 1 and 1 tenth. Let's take 1 seventh plus 3 eighths. And circle 1, crossing over 8. 1 times 8 equals 8. And circle 7, crossing over 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. Then add 8 and 21 as your numerator. It becomes 29. Multiply the two denominators 7 and 8 to get 56 as your denominator. The answer is 29 over 56. Is this a proper fraction? Yes. As you observe, the fraction is already in the lowest term since 29 is already a prime number. That is, it has only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Watch and learn the next example. Challenge. You may pause the video and do the next example. After doing it, you may continue to click the play button to check if you got it right. How about subtraction of dissimilar fractions? The same procedure applies, but of course, the difference is that we simply subtract the numerators after getting their products. The rest of the procedure remains the same. Just watch and learn. That's all, folks. Thank you and happy computing.